I thought I would do a 10 minute video on the preparation of whole mount insects. As you can see, we have a um, large beetle that has been mounted uh, on a uh, slide. And I'm going to uh, show you how to prepare these insects for whole mounts. Whenever you see on uh, YouTube or on TV documentaries on how to uh, prepare slides, the sample size is always in the area of uh, microns, four, five, 10 microns thick, you know, th as thin as a cell itself. Whereas insects are, are quite thick. I mean, thousands of times thicker by comparison. And what we have to do is we have to make the insect thin enough, paper thin, in fact, so that we can view it uh, on a microscope slide and, and see details. As you can see that this, this um, insect is very, very thin, right? It's paper thin, as a matter of fact. And um, here is another large um, in, uh, insect that I'm going to show you. This one here has been prepared similarly. And um, as you can see, if you look carefully, you can see some of the uh, details inside the uh, insect. So this is a very large beetle. I don't know what kind it is, but it, and then um, uh, we're going to show you a um, spider. This is a recent one that I did. Um, this was a quite a large spider. You can see compared to uh, my finger, it's a large spider. But um, we were able to process it in such a way uh, that uh, you can see how thin it is, right? Again, as thin as a piece of paper. And then um, I think, let me see this one over here. Uh, this will be the last finished sample that I will show you of a mosquito. Right, you can see this mosquito, um, uh, this, I don't know what species it is, but um, it's v similarly very, very thin like that. So let's begin with the uh, how we are going to prepare whole mount insects, right? We're, we're going to do a, we're going to do a, a spider uh, as, a, as an example, right? This first, the spider has to be processed in a um, saturated solution of potassium hydroxide. And if you see here, let me do this. Yeah, potassium hydroxide, or better known as caustic potash. And one of the things that we do, what you do is you take water and you add the potassium hydroxide to it. And uh, you keep adding and adding and adding until it starts coming out of solution. So now we have ourselves a saturated solution of potassium hydroxide. The potassium hydroxide is very caustic. The reason it's brown is because it, it has already processed some insects. And usually what happens is that the potash itself becomes brown from the exoskeleton of the insect, the beetle. You put a black beetle in there and the potash will start turning brown. Now there's no hard and fast rules as to how long it has to be uh, processed in the potash. Um, mosquitoes could be less than a day, beetles it could be up to a week and it's really trial and error. Um, you have to determine that yourself. And then afterwards, we're going to uh, put the insect in a 70% um, alcohol, uh, probably for a day. Then we go to 90% alcohol for a day. Then we go to 100% alcohol for a day. And then we go from, I'm not gonna show it here, but this is what you do, a 50-50 mixture of xylene and 100% alcohol. And then you go from the mixture 50-50 into 100% xylene. So I'm not going to use xylene since it's such a uh, toxic, uh, volatile, organic uh, compound. 
but I will show you uh, the processing a uh, spider like what you see here in front of you. Uh, we're going to just uh, process it uh, as if in 70% just for the video. Now, how are we going to get the spider to be as thin as possible? This is what I use. I use two glass slides held together with clips, the standard paper clips that you see here, and a piece of paper in between as a shim, as you can see here. A three and a half by five index card, as you can see with the blue lines on it, uh, will give you a, a very thin sample you can go thinner if you use aluminum foil, or you can go thicker if you stack the uh, paper shims. So what we're going to do is take the, we're gonna take the, uh, let me see, let me enlarge that for you, there we go. We're gonna take the spider like this, and we should be rearranged nicely on the slide for presentation purposes. Uh, this is probably a, uh, you're gonna take you a lot of time to do it, but I'm not gonna take the time. You saw how I did with the other ones. It's a good idea to keep it wet with 70% uh, alcohol while you're doing this, and then um, it'll make it easier to move things around. You have to be very careful at this point because legs can break off while you're doing that. So we have to be very careful when we, when we manipulate the uh, in, insect on the slide. Mosquito legs come off. It can, be very, it can be very easily damaged. So one has to be very, very careful. So let's do this. Let me bring the light around a little bit so you can see a bit more easily. There we go. And then we can just rearrange this spider is upside down. So let's turn it the right way. And then we can try and move some of the legs out like this. See how the legs come out and they want to go back again. This spider has been somewhat damaged. But uh, we're going to squish it between the... Uh, we're going to squish it between the... Let me see. I think that's about as much manipulating as I want to go. Otherwise, we're going to uh, uh, break off legs, etc., and ruin it completely. So then I'm going to take the uh, paper shim and place a paper shim on one end, like that. And then you're going to take another paper shim and place it on the slide at the other end, like that. Now, the spider has been immersed in alcohol. Very carefully take the second slide and just very carefully push it down like that. Now, how thin you want the spider or insect to be is also trial and error. And you're gonna just gauge that from your own experience. These kind of spiders, you can get away with one piece of paper, but sometimes you might need two because it might be a large spider. And then uh, that's a little wide. Then we're going to take a, this paper clip like this and we're going to hold it on one end like that. Take the paper clip, another paper clip like this and put it on the other end like that. And that'll hold it fairly well for viewing. And we can look at that. Uh, you see there's a big bubble there, but we'll get rid of that when we put it in the alcohol. So you can see there. So then I'm going to take the 70% alcohol. Let's just go to lesser magnification here so you can see this. We're gonna take the 70% alcohol and I'm going to put it in there like that. Okay. 
and we're going to leave it in there for 24 hours. And then we're going to go to 90, 100, and then to the xylene. So after all of that is done, the next video, we will show you how we will pre finally prepare the slide.